hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Ako Yvette in the building so in today's video we are going to be looking about personal financial experience and the financial market in Cameroon okay guys so um thank you all my subscribers for always coming back to watch my videos for those that are watching me for the very first time this is Ako Yvette and this channel is all about educational stuff. So, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, please do me a favor. Subscribe and click that like button if you find my videos interesting. And state a comment at the comment section. My personal financial experience, I look at finances as a means in which you can use even a dollar to grow if you are determined and smart. With my financial experience, I have so many things and plans on my mind, guys. But the money is not there. But I always make sure that the little I have, I make good use of it and not just use it anyhow. Sometimes it is easier to get the money, but how to use it, it's very difficult because we end up using money in things we did not plan to use it for. So at the end of the day, we end up uselessing the money. What I do is before I receive money, guys, I have plans ahead of time. I always do that. Most of the times I make plans about money I do not even have at that moment. So as of uh, some as the money comes in, I am able to take up with the plans I set. I pay my house rent, buy food for the house, pay bills, spend some on myself, and then save like 15% if available guys because the salary is not that much to cover my expenses <laughs> and others but recently I have learned some lessons to save money guys I have learned lesson to save money no matter how small it is it's a lesson I have taken home guys I learned that from somebody like no matter how the money is small I've learned a lesson to always save money no matter how small it is okay guys so let's look at the part two of this video we have the financial market in Cameroon now when we talk about the financial market in Cameroon we are looking at the Douala stock exchange yeah this is the sole agent license to trade in and sell to the public to sell shares bonds stocks and other investment products. The financial market gives green light for new bond issuance on the Douala Stock Exchange. If you check in October 2017, guys, the Financial Markets Commission that regulates the Douala Stock Exchange went ahead to authorize the Cameroonian Treasury that they should uh, issue new bond, which is worth 150 billion. CFA. Okay, guys. So, first of all, before we continue, let's look at what financial market is. Sorry, I was just talking about the Douala Stock Exchange without telling you what a financial market is. A financial market is simply a market in which people trade securities and derivatives, and this is usually done at low transaction cost. And this security includes bonds, stocks, and also precious medals. So, financial markets simply refer broadly to that marketplace which the trading of securities occurs. When we talk of this market, we talk of stock market. So, when we are talking about the financial market, we are talking of stock market, we are talking of bond market, we are talking of derivative market, we are talking of forex market. So, we can see that financial market is very vital to the smooth operation and running of capitalist economists. Now, guys, let's look at the financial world. Yeah. So, Mathieu Favre said, whoever controls the flow of money at the end of the day controls a lot of things in the economy and then ends up being the puppet master of a lot of things that are going on around the world china has the world largest economic and this country was the first to grapple with the coronavirus after it emerged 
in late December last year. The global financial system is simply the worldwide framework of legal agreement and institution. America is the king of global finance. China is really, guys, China is really doing their best to correct this imbalance. Well, Cameroon's financial market has imports and exports as main sectors. The country's primary industries include the production of small consumer commodities, textile and food processing. The secondary or second level sector has more than a quarter and offers jobs to about 14% of the working population. Another sector is the third level sector which is made up of about 51.6% of the GDP and it is the source of income for about 40% of the active population import and export solution yeah so well cameroon plays a primary and diversified economic role in the whole of central africa with oil as its main export commodity that is it accounts for over 40 percent of exports other sectors such as the banking sector equally experiencing a steady growth although much is still left undone so guys as we have said that financial market is a market in which people can trade financial securities commodities and other assets at prices that determined by the pure supply and demand principle and if i talk about market then it implies by placing the two counterparts buyers and sellers at one place so that they can find each other easily thus facilitating the deal between them Within its financial market rule, the central bank of Kenya implements monetary policy decisions, manages the country's foreign exchange reserves, and manages the government domestic debt. Foreign exchange reserves held by the central bank of Kenya are national asset held as a safeguard to ensure availability of foreign exchange to meet the country's external obligation, including import and export debt service. The primary objective in the management of this reserve is therefore capital preservation on behalf of the national treasury so guys talking about the uh, central bank of kenya the central bank auctions and manages government's domestic debt at the beginning of each fiscal year the national treasury determines the budgetary gap to be financed from the domestic market so the central bank then comes off with the borrowing plan which implements through auctions of treasury bills and bonds in addition the central bank manages so in addition guys the central bank manages the registry and maintains a database for domestic debt and contributes to the development of the secondary market for government securities so guys that is it about the um, uh, Central Bank of Kenya and the Douala Stock Exchange. I just wanted to state something so you should be aware of what is going on in these sectors, guys. So, talking about uh, my uh, financial experience, guys, like I've said, I always set up plans even when I don't have money, guys. I always set up plans even when I don't have money. So, immediately I have that money, I will be able to do what I have planned. So, I don't just get money and then I start planning guys before money enters my hand i have planned it already so guys what do you think do you think this is a good strategy using money like you you do this so you don't spend money anyhow or in a useless manner what do you think guys so what is your personal experience about money guys what do you do with your money do you receive the money before you start planning or do you plan before you receive the money guys what is your personal experience about finance tell me at the comment section guys so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel if you're a fan of educative and informative videos like this please guys do me a favor and subscribe to my channel all right for those that are watching for the very first time if you find my videos interesting please subscribe 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 and don't forget to hit 
uh, the like button, stay the comment and the comment section, and share my videos to as many people as possible. Like I said, guys, please tell your comment about your personal finance experience. What is your personal finance experience? What do you do with your money, guys? Do you how do you manage your money? Like when you receive your money, no matter how small it is, do you save? Do you even save? or even a small percentage out of that money or you just use the money as it is guys please tell me about your personal experience about of finance thank you so much for watching and do have a blessed day